Does your next experiment involve BDNF? This video is for scientists who want to run Western blot, IHC, flow or other immunoassays against BDNF. We will cover some basic facts, protein expression, and BDNF's expected behavior in Western blot. All information in this video is based on public information and no proprietary experimental evidence was used. Topic 1. Quick facts about BDNF. Brain-derived neurotrophic factor, BDNF, is part of the neurotrophin family of growth factor proteins which are vital in cell survival and the development of the nervous system. BDNF is conserved amongst most mammals with 100% homology. The precursor of BDNF is 247 amino acids long and runs about 30 kilodaltons on western blot while the mature form is 119 amino acids long and runs about 14 kilodaltons on western blot. Topic 2. Where is BDNF expressed? High levels of BDNF have been found in the amygdala, cerebellum, hippocampus, and cerebral cortex, with the highest levels detected in hippocampal neurons. They are also expressed at lower levels in the heart, lungs, liver, kidneys, prostate and retina. It is released into and can be detected in blood and saliva. You can find more information on ProteinAtlas.org to check out which cell lines express BDNF and which ones don't. This information will come in handy when designing positive and negative controls for Western blot and immunohistochemistry. Topic 3. BDNF in Western Blotting. Antibody specificity can make or break an experiment. The last thing we want is to have our papers retracted due to a false positive figure. After looking through Western blot images from publications and antibody companies, we can see that typically two bands can be expected in a BDNF Western blot, the proform BDNF at around 30 kilodaltons and the mature BDNF at around 14 kilodaltons. Check out the PMC link for more images, which is also provided in the description box. Topic 4. Some interesting facts about BDNF. Overall, BDNF is a beneficial molecule for the brain. As its name states, BDNF has neurotrophic properties and promotes survival and growth of various types of neurons, so it positively impacts central nervous system cells. Because of this, since its discovery in 1982, scientists have been exploring BDNF's therapeutic potentials for elevating symptoms of and even treating neurodegenerative diseases. BDNF is one of the most researched molecules in neuroscience. Thank you for watching, and check out the links and references in the description box below. Let us know in the comments which biomarker you would like us to discuss next. Subscribe to stay tuned for more biomarker videos.